Hi, welcome. Last time we learned how to use Synthesizer vStudio on its plugin version. Today, let's take a look into a more advanced feature of the software. We are going to transform an audio file into notes and lyrics using the voice to MIDI conversion tool. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my Logic Pro session, something very simple. Now let's record our vocal. Baby, you know the time is right A lot of things that I can say And if this is our last goodbye Just let you know that it was great Okay, so now let's export our recording as an audio file Create a new instrument track Reset it Rename it and load an instance of Synthesizer vStudio on it. Right click, create a new instrumental track, select the recording that we just did, right click on it, extract notes from audio, and you can tweak plenty of things here. For example, if you have a melody with a lot of movement, I will recommend you to set a high note detection sensitivity value. But for now, let's leave it like this. Okay, so we just transform an audio file into notes and lyrics. Let's load a voice database, mute the original recording, and let's give it a listen. Baby, you know the time is right. A lot of things that I can say. And if this is the last goodbye, just let you know that it was great. Okay, so there may be some small mistakes on the tempo of the notes, on the pitch, or the lyrics. We can fix this by selecting or focusing on the group, selecting all of the notes, going to modify, smart quantization, and what this is going to do is going to snap the notes to the nearest grid, so everything is in its right place. Now let's fix those pitch and lyrics mistakes. Okay, I think we're done. So let's give it a listen. Baby, you know the time is right. A lot of things that I can say. And if this is our last goodbye, just let you know that it was great. Okay, so today we learned how to use the voice to MIDI conversion tool on our projects. But did you know that you can customize the mood and the style that the voice is singing with? So, see you in the next video.